Hi everybody, today I received uh, two TDK ferric tapes, so I'll, I'll be doing a tap to tape record test uh, using USB host 64 and loading the actual masterer uh, using a USB basic that's stored on my Easy Flash. So I will install the version for the parallel interface. And this is just to load the top right masterer. The masterer itself has already got the driver to handle USB uh, host 64, so the Easy flash bit was just to be able to load tap right very quickly. And when we run run this application, we'll give some credits. Uh, we say you know which tape, which tap file has been um, opened, and I'll be saving from the current position, which is um, at zero at the moment, but not at the beginning of the tape. Yeah. So the process goes on for a while. And the fact that the color scheme keeps changing is a good sign. It means that um, Everything is progressing nicely. I'm using these uh, TTK 90 minutes ferric tapes. Uh, Supposedly they are quite good for this uh, purpose. We shall see what uh, what results we get once I'm done. Now the tap masterer is um, interrupt driven and um, it's one of my example applications of uh, using USB host 64.
that's it I will keep um, the counter recording so I get some trailing uh, silence up to a 70 say yeah that's it and now what I will do I will rewind back to zero and I will try to load that's it Iron Man I'll move it slightly so you know you can see that uh, it's connected to the Commodore 64 and actually going of course at this stage USB host 64 is not required anymore the tab file is on tape and can be loaded um, irrelevant of having a USB host 64 or not and uh, here it is the load peak We need to get uh, to uh, 67 I think it was so it's nearly there That's about it. Tap file mastered with USB host 64 and my tap write too. Thanks for watching. Bye.